Hey there YouTube fans, how you going? This is another quick little video on berberine and hyperglycemia, which is high blood sugar. Okay, so I've been taking berberine for a few weeks now, I think it is, um, and the stomach problems that I had with berberine initially have settled down, and I've noticed that on average I'd wake up fasting with a blood sugar of around 7, which is borderline, and then up to around 10 would be normally the highest. Now in the last few days though, my blood sugar has gone through the roof and I'm finding it hard to control and that's led to some side effects and the reason why it went through the roof is mainly because of, of making pizza, homemade pizza with uh, white flour. That's the main reason. So it stayed up and it's, it hasn't come down low enough for it to um, when you have the next meal to be normal so it's just up and then down a little bit and then up and then down a little bit so it's been really bad now that brings me to hyperglycemia hyper high blood sugar I noticed these are the side effects I've been having it's kind of um, explaining what why I've been feeling like crap for the last several days and what obviously has been happening in the past so, for example, I would feel like I just want to fall asleep. That's one of the reasons. So, I, I pulled this information from the English Diabetes website. And it says, what's hyperglycemia? Blood glucose levels um, greater than 7 mmol forward slash L millimoles, I think they call it, per litre. And I think it's 126 in the American standard, 126 meg mg milligrams per deciliter when fasting. Blood, gluco blood glu glucose levels greater than 11 or um, 200 in, I think, the American system, two hours after meals. Although blood sugar levels exceeding 7 mmol forward slash L millimoles, um, for extended periods of time can start to cause damage to internal organs. Symptoms may not develop until blood glucose levels exceed 11 millimoles. What causes hyperglycemia? The under, underlying cause of hyperglycemia will usually be from loss of insulin producing cells in the pancreas or if the body develops resistance to insulin, that's definitely what I have, insulin resistance and more immediate reasons for hyperglycemia include missing a dose of diabetic medication or tablets or insulin, eating more carbohydrates, for example pizza, than your body or, and or medican, a medication can manage, being mentally or emotionally stressed, injury, surgery or anxiety, or if you're ill, uh, contracting an infection. Well, that, well there it is. So the main three symptoms of hyperglycemia is increased urination, so you have to pee more, increased thirst, because you want to drink more so that your body can um, get rid of the sugar via urination, and increased hunger. I've been hungry non-stop the last few days. Non-stop hunger, non-stop fatigue, non-stop wanting to sleep. Uh, for several days with these high blood sugars. So earlier it was like 9.6. I woke up with almost 10. It's just been non-stop high all the time. So um, high blood sugar levels can also contribute to the following symptoms. Regular or above urination, which we talked about. Weakness or feeling tired. There you go. Loss of weight. I wish. Increased thirst, we talked about that, and vision blurring, absolutely. Um, now, on the, vi on the video for this website, which is Diabetes UK, I believe, Diabetes UK org, the transcript, it says, because you, you get different, different levels, you know, they talk about um, hyperglycemia from this video, the transcript says, Diabetes UK is the website, uh, a value over 8 millimoles per litre. 
um, taken at least two hours after the last meal as being higher than normal. The Mayo Clinic notes that the signs of high blood sugar may not appear until blood sugar levels rise above 11 millimoles per litre, or however you pronounce it. Again, they say signs that your blood sugar is high can include feeling thirsty, needing to urinate often, feeling tired and lethargic, feeling hungry despite having eaten recently, and not being able to think as clearly as usual. So cognitive problems. So just recently today, I've had blood sugars high for the last three days. I had fish and salad and chips and a fish cake, and literally within an hour, I still want to eat again. I want to eat now. The reason why I'm not is it's still high, so you need to burn up that sugar if you can. I mean, ideally, if I had a shot of insulin, I would go and put some insulin into me and try and get that down to around five at least. Um, you got to be careful of developing a serious complication, generally over 15 or, or sometimes even lower than that in the Australian standard of ketoacid, ketoacidosis, I believe it's called. It's a pretty serious um, condition. If you have nausea or coma or high ketones, fruity smelling breath, you need to, be, you need to go to the emergency room, basically. Um, again, I'll just repeat, the American Diabetes Association lists the following reasons for hypoglycemia, insufficient, insufficient diabetes medication to cope with carbohydrate intake, not taking part in exercise that has been planned, suffering from illness or infection, and going through stress. So non-strenuous activities such as walking can help to decrease your blood sugar levels. People taking insulin may need to increase their insulin. I'm going to increase my dosage of berberine. I have read that you can take 2,000 milligrams a day. Um, it's got a short half-life half of about 4 hours, give or take 1.4 1, 1 hours, 4.9 hours, and, and give or take something like 1.4. So uh, you could average 3 or 4 hours, depends on the individual how long the, the half-life is for berberine. So in my case, I'm going to try it four times a day. I mean, it's certainly been indicated for 2,000 milligrams a day, but always speak to your doctor before you do anything. I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do for my, my personal health. Um, if you get frequently high blood sugar levels you need to discuss that with your doctor that's important because basically it can fry you fry you internally that's the bad news about having high blood sugar now don't confuse it with hypoglycemia hypoglycemia is low blood sugar anything in the Australian standard below four millimoles per liter is considered hypo low blood sugar all right Yes, it was ketoacidosis was the name of that serious complication if your blood glucose levels rise above 15 millimoles per litre, which is 270 milligrams per, I think it's deciliter, to 270 mg forward slash DL. I think that's the American system. All right, try and get your HbA1c target of 48 mmols which is 6.5% is the ideal target. I hope that is to help you, and it's mainly to help me, and I'm glad that if it helps somebody else. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, my dear, my dear subscribers, and thank you for watching. I'm always happy to have new subscribers. All right? Take care, guys. God bless you. Ciao.